Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. It's weird. It's, I've never understood this, 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 this watching of people's pockets in, in a community that embraces the idea of the ideals of America and capitalism. The only time I see people watching people's pockets like that are people who are inherently socialist and feel that you should be giving your money away to other people or that it's not fair that they have all of this and you don't. I never understood that. It's a weird thing. So now let me um, let me ask you about this. Let's see. I don't know if we froze up here. I want to make sure that you hear this question. So how does it feel, man? You're out there taking lots of blows, right, from all sides. Mm -hmm. How do the blows mm -hmm. from the gun community, from the 2A guys feel? Be, I know you're a tough guy. You know, I know you're macho. Yeah. People dig that about you. But really, honestly, it's us here, nobody else, just me and you. How does it feel when, when there's blows getting thrown, thrown your way? Oh, it sucks. It sucks because you got to remember, like, if if this was just a means to an end for me, I wouldn't care. Like, I don't, I don't care. I, I, I just go get my bags of money and go to sleep. But I'm passionate about this. So the hardest thing in the world is seeing someone come at me from an in, from the industry standpoint and then having to hold my tongue when I know what I'm capable of and then sw I have to swallow it. Mm -hmm. I just have to swallow it. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I'll let something loose, and that's just me being human. And then I mean, immediately, I'm like, man, what did I do? Like, oh, I didn't have vitriol toxicness that the other that the other person was speaking at me to begin with. So mm -hmm. it, it does hurt, and I do take it. I do take it personally to a degree. Mm -hmm. But at a certain point, you kind of have to create a barrier because if not, it'll drive you crazy. Yeah, people don't understand that. When you're a public figure on social media. A lot of people say things like. Oh, why? Why are you crying about it? Like you have all of you have all of these followers. You know why? Why do you even care, man? Like you got to remember something. Like <laughs> that's just so crushing. It was funny. Like if I have five hundred thousand followers on Instagram, I put up a post, mm -hmm. and and I didn't buy followers, so my engagement is high. It's super high, so I can get anywhere. Getting three hundred to a thousand comments on a post is nothing. Mm -hmm. So now, if I'm trying to stay engaged with my audience, that means I have to do what? I have to go through some of those comments. Mm -hmm. So now if I'm going through those comments, I'm good, and most of them are good, but then it's like, you go through the comments. Okay. Yeah, you froze there, you froze up. Nope. <laughs> All right, can this you hear is me crazy, now? yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I, you said something passionately, it looks like you put, yeah, you punched yeah. the microphone. Yeah, so, just basically what I'm saying is, if uh -huh. I have 500,000 followers mm -hmm. on Instagram, for instance, right, and, I'm, and I wanna stay engaged with my audience, so I'm looking through comments from time to time, right. and as I'm doing that, yeah, the vast majority of them are positive, but then it's like you hit one, boom, that's like one punch to the gut. You see another negative, boom, that's another punch to the gut. You mm -hmm. see another negative comment, boom, that's another punch to the gut. Boom, that's another punch to the gut. I post five, I post five to six times a day just on Instagram. So now if I'm doing that same thing repeatedly over and over again as I'm going through comments, boom, punching the gut, boom, punching the gut, boom, punching the gut. I don't care who you are. If you're in the middle of a boxing ring and everyone there is cheering for you, but you're still getting punched, it's gonna get to you after a while. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But people people don't see that. They only see you laugh. It's more out. damaging. It's more damaging. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt, that's what people look. I also tell Lola this because I hate to hold my tongue, man. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Did we do? Did we freeze here? I personally hate to hold my tongue. I think silence is violence. When people, I tell Lola, you know, people. I don't know if anyone realizes this, this about me, but I actually like to fight. I know it seems like I'm cool or whatever, but I like to fight because I think silence is violence. But you know, do how much fighting do we want to do with each other? Yeah. You know, but I do think right. it's tough when you let people just keep hitting you. You don't say anything. And then people out there just believe what they're saying. Like, hey, this guy's not doing anything. He's not giving money. He's not fighting. I think in, in, in your name, people are saying you're not like pushing back on what the NRA is doing. You're not, you know, you're you're not with us and all this kind of stuff. I know that has to hurt when you know that you are and that you you gave up a lot in order to do this. It's it sucks. Again, you know, like I said, I made my bed. Now I have to lay in it, but it does suck. So when I do happen to lash out from time to time, it's not. It's I saw fifty of them, and then all of a sudden that fifty-one made me go, what the? and it may not even be fifty in the same in the same comment thread. Because mm -hmm. you remember, you still taking that stuff in. It could have been a post from two weeks ago, but then it's mm -hmm. just like it's just after a while, it's just like, Ugh. and then it's like, and another thing too is like like. Everybody inherently in the gun community is a fighter, mm -hmm. 
right? That's why we embrace the Second Amendment, because we, we fight for what we believe in. We fight to protect our families. We fight to protect ourselves. And so as a result, we are inherently fighters. So mm -hmm. when I get a negative comment or someone comes at me the wrong way, I want to punch back. Mm -hmm. But I have to restrain myself. And, I'm like, and then every once in a while, I was like, you know what? Fight. And then you just do it. <laughs> right. 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 And, it's, and then you you kind of you kind of hold back a little bit because you don't want to go full in because, you know, you shouldn't be throwing it in the first place. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing that kind of sucks a little bit. Yeah, it does.